In Hawthorne, a small plane drops from the sky, crashes on a street, and bursts into flames. It happened just blocks away from the airport there. Two people were badly hurt, and as KCAL's Rachel Kim shows us, bystanders rushed in to help them. This is crazy to be able to find out that I thought well, what was a car crash it was a, a plane crash. Daylight shed light on what really happened on 126th Street near Hawthorne Boulevard. The NTSB says just after 12:30 Friday morning, this single-engine plane crashed and burst into flames shortly after taking off from Hawthorne Airport. Two people were on board and were taken to the hospital in critical condition. He was actively on fire, he was actively engulfed flames. Conscious, his left. Mangled. Gerald Johnson was charging his Tesla when the plane went down. He rushed to help the victims. Myself and a couple other gentlemen helped pull the man away from the wreckage. I, I grabbed his right arm, the yeah. guy grabbed his left arm, and he pulled him about 20, 25 feet away from the wreckage. Wow. The plane landed right here on 126th Street in between City Hall and a bank on one side and a hotel here on the other. Fortunately, it didn't crash into any structures, including the apartments and homes just one block away. That's wild. To be that close, that from here, like it easily could have been one more block over and been in this building. That's nuts. That's that's surprising. I'm shocked. Ahmed El Hendi is visiting his girlfriend who lives in a nearby apartment. They're just finding out about the plane crash. So is Portia Edmondson. It's pretty scary to think that something like this would happen. Um, it could have been my home. Like you say, I stay right here. It could have been right here. I could have been home. My kids could have been outside. We traced the plane's tail number to the last registered owner who told us over the phone he was shocked to hear about the crash. He said he sold the plane a few weeks ago and that there had been no issues with it and that the new private owner was having a mechanic check it out as well. I hope that the two people that you said were involved are okay and that they can make it through but I just pray for them. That's the biggest thing. The NTSB is investigating the cause of the crash. Rachel Kim, KCAL News.